ever thought about converting your beachfront property into expansive desert real estate? No? Well, we're going to do it anyway. Welcome to yet another hilarious episode of What If Lab. As always, we're here to unlock the wonders of the hypothetical, where we explore the tantalizing what-ifs that shape our world in ways as entertaining as they are enlightening. All right, folks, brace yourselves, because today we're going to embark on a wild, hypothetical voyage through the deepest trenches of the Mariana to the thriving ecosystems of the Great Barrier Reef. Or at least we were, but not today, for the oceans have evanescently wandered off somewhere. That's right, in this witty roller coaster of an episode, we're tackling the question what if all oceans evaporated? Now, before we cannonball into our dehydrated doomsday scenario, let's get a few things straight about the H2O that covers exactly 71.1% of our home planet. Earth is the blue planet, not just because it's having a perpetual case of the Mondays, but due to the oceans that cover the majority of its surface. These colossal bodies of water play a critical role in climate regulation, absorbing an immense amount of heat and distributing it around the globe, ensuring we don't freeze or fry. Aside from that, oceans are home to an incredible rainbow of biodiversity and marine life, provide the key protein supply for a billion people, and serve as vital trade and transportation routes. And oh yeah, They are relentlessly working as a carbon sink, absorbing about 2 billion tons of human-generated CO2 every year. Okay, so we've established that the oceans are kind of somewhat important, right? But now let's dive into the arid abyss of the what if. What if one day, all oceans just simmered off? First things first, grab your sunscreen and a personal cooling system, because things are about to get spicy. Without oceans to absorb and distribute solar heat, the Earth would turn into an unbearable furnace, with daytime temperatures skyrocketing. Conversely, without the warming effect of the oceans at nighttime or during winters, temperatures would drop drastically, turning our planet into a giant popsicle. Who'd have thought the oceans are hitherto unsung heating and air conditioning heroes? On a far more grim note, the disappearance of the oceans would take away the primary source of oxygen production, phytoplankton. So, we would not only be dealing with extreme temperatures, but also gasping around like goldfish out of a bowl. Not exactly what we'd call a dream vacation. Oh, and did we mention that in this new oceanless planet, you could literally walk across continents? Yep. All you would find underfoot is a barren, scorching, or freezing desert, dotted with what once was iconic landmarks, like the submerged Mariana Trench or the sprawling coral reefs, now dry as a bone. Brutal, isn't it? To top it all, the global economy would also collapse, because, surprise, surprise, it turns out shipping giant cargo ships across continents isn't as easy when there's no ocean to float them on. And we can forget about all those delightful crab dinners and sushi platters. Seafood? What seafood? So, a world without oceans, frozen solid half the time, baked to a crisp the other half, smothered in desert sands, suffocating, devoid of sushi, and a hiker's nightmare. Sounds like a real treat, doesn't it? But hey, remember, we're all about the hypothetical here at What If Lab. So while scenarios like these aren't looming on our horizon, they help us appreciate the wonders of our world, the intricate balances that sustain life, and remind us of the consequences were they to slip up, even just a tad. Because after all, we only have one Earth and trillions upon trillions of gallons of precious, life-giving water that we're lucky enough to have. On that note, thank you for journeying with us into this wildly parched, hypothetical world. If you thought this what-if was intriguing, be sure to like, subscribe, and stick around for many more. By doing so, you will convert your YouTube feed into a regular buffet of brain ticklers delivered straight from What If Lab. And hey, who knows, we might even bring back the oceans next time. 